hello people and welcome to our tech channel today we're just going to do a quick review of the Huawei 4G router um, I had this router for about uh, it's about eight months now I just thought I need to do a quick overview um, this is part of the series you don't need 5G in 2021 right let's go for it Because I've been using the router, this is not going to be an unboxing. Uh, this is just going to be an overview, a quick overview, just to see if this is going to work with your home setup. So in the box come, comes a router. It's a Huawei router, uh, the B535932 uh, router. That's the official name of the router, but it's just a Huawei 4G router. Um, most of the time you don't have to buy this your service provider is going to give you for free because this is not an unboxing video i'm just going to show you quickly what comes in the box and uh quickly just quickly how to set it up um so it's your power adapter uh this fits power to the router or the modem it's a modem because it connects you to the internet and it routes the traffic uh it's uh the main task of this device is to assign ip addresses to all your devices at home that are connected here right so uh you connect the power here and then you can you put the sim card because this is not a dsl router it's not a fiber to the home router it's an lte router so it requires a sim card for it to work right you can see i've been using this router so depending on your service provider you might need to buy a sim card my service provider is telcom everything was free the sim card was free the router was free um but i pay for services uh, right so it uses a nano sim so where you put the sim card right here we're just gonna follow this marking here on how to place your sim card it goes in something like that and once it's clicked in it's fine so the next thing for you to do is just to plug this in and um, connect to it um, I think every router comes with the username and password so when you connect to it you need to type in this IP address on your web browser on the URL section um, and then it's gonna ask you for password it's admin the username what's the username i don't know the username but you just have to check uh, you just have to check uh, the quick access for that uh, your handy book for the username but anyways as soon as you are set up make sure you change the password and you change your username because you don't want your neighbors using your internet so you just plug that in if you're gonna I don't know if can you mount this on the wall no you can't mount this on the wall unfortunately because the power plug is not there the power plug is there so this other thing i don't know what this called it comes in the box as well you just uh you see these holes here these holes you must line them up uh, with these grooves here so you just line them up like there and then you give them give it a push it's not gonna break but it's gonna click there I clicked into place so you can rest your router okay top of the table provided that you've already inserted the sim you've already inserted the sim and you're gonna pull your power plug there and you're gonna press this button which is a power button it powers it up when it's on the light is gonna show there if it's connected and if you have paid for your internet connection uh the light is gonna be green if uh, it's broadcasting signal the wi-fi signal it's gonna show there if you have connected any ethernet ports let's say you want your devices to be connected not by wi-fi but by uh, cable uh, you use one of these ports here it's four ports right it's gonna show there and that is your signal strength let me show you very quickly what i mean for so for example for my setup at home i have uh, the smart tv box 
if you haven't watched that video just uh click somewhere here the video is you, and then you can watch the video but anyways i try my best to have most of the devices connected by wire right so to eliminate uh interference um because this thing it it uses 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz most of the devices at home are 2.4 gigahertz that's your bluetooth technology connected 2.4 gigahertz but because this is a dual band channel you can uh, you can uh, assign it to 5 gigahertz but i just like to connect everything uh, via the wire but anyways once it's connected once it has uh, internet once you have your internet connected to internet you just plug it in there you can use any port it doesn't matter you can use any port to connect so i'm using that right now to connect my smart tv right and this other port i use it to connect the pc at home right this is basically it i'm just gonna show you quickly how it looks on my uh, home setup i have it behind the tv um yeah and uh, on the next video i'm gonna show you how it works how you set up your password and how you assign uh different bands because it's got 2.4 gigahertz as i've mentioned and 5 gigahertz thank you for watching this video please subscribe to the channel so we can get more cool devices to review and please leave a comment on what you would like to see going forward thank you very much bye